Now we are set up with the Lakers and the Nuggets for game two here on this Sunday night. Hi, everybody. Brian Anderson along with Chris Weber, Reggie Miller. We'll hear from Ali LaForce in just a bit. Well, the Lakers in game one looked impressive. 126 points on the board. They are now 9-2, and two, Chris, in this postseason right now, and they look every bit the number one seed in the West. They sure do. They have the best player in the world, but they're playing team ball right now. 75% of their plays were assisted plays, and what did that lead to? That led to great defense, guys being engaged, and by the way, when they play great defense, they can get out and run 16 fast break points, 22 in early transition. As for the Nuggets, transition, defense, and pace will be key for the Nuggets. The defense of getting back and building that wall against the best player on the universe, as you mentioned, in LeBron. And the pace, the Nuggets want to score early in the shot clock before the Lakers can get their defense set. Interesting that Michael Malone of the Nuggets said we don't need to make adjustments with matchups Just need to play better and execute better as you take a look at the Nuggets starting five presented by AT&T 5G Murray Jokic Millsap all in foul trouble in game one Murray and Jokic didn't even play in the fourth quarter familiar starting five for the Lakers LeBron and AD and there was some discussion about maybe Dwight Howard getting the start Frank Vogel Loves the rotation as it is. And McGee's back in that starting lineup. And Dwight Howard, who was very impactful in game one, we'll certainly see him in this one. 13th season, who will put it in the air? Josh Tibbet and Bill Kennedy make up the three-man officiating crew. It is the Nuggets who control the tip. And off we go in game two. Come back, come back, come back. There's Jokic getting up the first shot. Rattles in and out. Now LeBron and the Lakers back to work. They have been dominating teams in these playoffs now. Four straight double-digit wins for L.A. And a nice lead for McGee. Can't hit it. And that'll be Laker ball. I have a feeling LeBron is going to spend a lot of time here in game two in that mid-post area. You saw the overreaction defensively by the Nuggets. Fascinated by LeBron's game one. He scored 15 points. He had 12 assists. Points created. It was 45, and he hardly played in the fourth quarter. McGee back taps it, keeps it alive. LeBron fires a three in the first bucket of the game. Here's a three ball from LeBron James. That's something we're going to have to watch for all night. That's the limp of the Lakers getting an extra possession. You don't get a stop until you seal it with the rebound. Anthony Davis checking Paul Millsap. McGee on Jokic. Jokic got himself in foul trouble in game one, as did Murray. Those two have to be the best players on the floor for Denver. And is that a shot clock violation? It is. Did not get it off in time. Now Michael Malone, now in his fifth year, back-to-back -back playoff appearances for the Nuggets. It was interesting talking about matchups and certain changes that he might make and he said once I looked at the film I just implored my guys to play better execute better get back better as McGee takes on Jokic and Jokic finally wrestles down the board for something that the Nuggets are going to have to do here in game two I know Michael Malone is talking about adjustments and that high screen and roll or dribble handoff with Murray and Jokic the Lakers are switching that and they're going to have to be more aggressive, either Murray taking the big off the dribble or Jokic getting into the post and going to work on the small. Nice steal by Jokic. Denver does a good job getting back in transition, and there is Davis with a block. Came up limping, though. Yeah, he had a little bit of a hobble there when he landed. What do you do when you get past and you think you have an open layup because you get past the first center and then you meet the second line of defense right there? AD, great block. Heard from Paul Millsap in our pregame show tonight inside the NBA. Ernie interviewing him, saying, Look, I've talked to the guys. We got a young team. We got to bring more urgency. We got to do everything a little bit better. He's the only player over 30 on this roster. As Green misfires on his first three point try. I like seeing Jokic handle the ball going up. It puts the defense in a different position with a great passer. Offensive foul that time. Jamal Murray will pick up his first push off on Danny Green and Reg wouldn't you say that the one of the impressive things about the Lakers have been their guard play defensively the fact that not only are they switching getting back but it seems they're getting in the passing lane fighting over
over screens and trying to make that pick and roll play tough. Because both, both their, their guards are big in KCP and Danny Green, so they can use that height advantage on those switches. Loose ball foul on JaVale McGee, and Jamal Murray is a little shaken up. May have took one to the groin there. That'll take a minute. Uh, yeah. Only time heals that wound. <laughs> a lot of time. <laughs> Denver still looking for their first basket of the game. Jokic, they cleared out for him. McGee guarding Jokic. And a flurry of moves just lets him have it, but he comes up short. Almost left him too open. Seven possessions for Denver, zero points. Euro step by Davis, no. Lakers doing a little bit of crime right now. They may be right in that fact, but they need to make sure they get back attacking the basket, looking for the foul call. Nice catch by Jokic right in the middle of the lane. Here goes Grant to the hole, and he scores, and finally Denver is on the board. Did you see how early they were attacking in the shot clock? Davis can't get two putbacks to go. Able to save it here, throws it off Harris. What hustle. We already saw the fact that JaVale McGee got a tip out and got LeBron a three. That's off of second chance points. And right here, three rebounds inside, saving the possession for his team. Another thing we just saw that last trip down the floor, the Lakers are more than willing and active, even after makes by the Nuggets, to run down the floor in transition as LeBron James sticks another jumper. And this could end up being a problem for the Nuggets because if he's making that shot, that's going to open up a lot of other things in his attention to attack the rim. Lakers just a 2 for 11 start. James has both of them, spins his way in, takes on Jokic who didn't foul. And I think Michael Malone is saying, okay, we'll live with that right now. Used to LeBron spinning like that, but I'm not used to the defender <laughs> spinning with them looking for which way, which way does he go? He hit the eject button, didn't he? <laughs> When he hits that shot from the free throw line at mid post range, it just opens everything else up for him because you know he can use that great base of his and that strength to get an easy layup at any time. See what he moved Jokic on that. He moved him <laughs> <them> center. <laughs> Jokic gives it up. Grant for three. And that's a good sign for the Nuggets. Grant has really struggled from behind the arc. His last seven games, guys, he's just shooting 20% from three point range. So a big hit for him early to see one go through, and we're all tied at seven. LeBron gives it up, and Danny Green, air ball. McGee saves it. Ugly start to this one, a lot of missed shots. Harris in the corner. And Osap keeps it alive. Long three by Murray Cash. Reg, I need to see a lot out of Murray, and I, I don't mean I, I need to see him shoot it a lot. 7 to 12, that's great percentage, but in order for this team to go, he's going to have to get in the pick and roll and take to make some tough shots. Murray's got a nice little streak going here of five consecutive 20 point games. That'll stay in the possession of the Lakers. Timeout on the floor. We're underway here in game two, Reg. Well, see, Webb, you wanted to see more from Jamal Murray. Off to a good start. Five of the 10 Nuggets points. Okay.